My name is John Jacobs. My friends and customers all call me Jake, have since I was just a young boy. I got into the car business in 1959, and I tried to retire, but you can't handle it. When everybody else is working, I'm the only one out there doing nothing. I got nobody to stop and bother. <laughs> When I first started having the heart problems, I was in Branson, Missouri, and that's when, I mean, I just fell over in the furniture store. They didn't do heart work there in Branson at the time, so they took me by ambulance up to Springfield. I had angioplastic done there, and it didn't work too long. It was about a six, eight week deal. And I got home, and I got a hold of this doctor, and stents were fairly new at that time, so they tried to put stents in there. They didn't work either. Uh, they said my body was rejecting them and growing a scar tissue over. So then I said, well, I'll just take me out here to the local hospital and uh, I got to have that open heart surgery. And that's when I had it. I got about 13 good years out of that. And guys, I was right back like I was, chest pressure. I mean, if I'd walk across the parking lot, I couldn't hardly, I was done. I couldn't go any farther. I couldn't get the motorcycle, I couldn't get it off of the kickstand, it was too heavy. So I went back and the same doctor, he said, I, I just can't do any more for you. He said, I need to open you up. And he said, I'm afraid you won't, I won't have to close you up. And uh, so he said, I'm gonna give you medication and you go on home and just, you know, enjoy yourself much as you can. I assumed that, you know, I'm probably gonna just turn into an old man and that was it made my uh, funeral arrangements and everything. Mr. Jacobs is somebody who had suffered with angina for years. He repeated stress tests, multiple angioplasties, none of them had been successful. A large number of patients are told it can't be done or doesn't need to be treated. And the reason they don't get treatment is not because they don't need treatment, it's because the individuals don't have the skill sets to perform those procedures. The goal of the CTO community is to give those patients an opportunity to have the same treatment as other less complicated patients. I was uh, hanging out in my office one day and a couple of my friends come in, took one look at me. Oh, well, they loaded me in the car and hustled me right on down to the hospital. I didn't figure I'd come back up, I really didn't. I mean, I, I felt horrible, I just, you know. So that's when I started looking around for a second opinion when I met Dr. Grantham, they had told me all about him, and uh, I knew I had good doctor. I mean, I felt at peace and ease when I went in there. There wasn't any worry about it, you know. I told him he better do a good job, and uh, he did. For me, there's not another aspect in cardiology where cardiologists are able to provide the, the type of benefits that we see. They tell us, literally on the table, they feel like they can take a breath again. For the first time in years, they don't have this constricting feeling around their chest. When I come out of there, they uh, took me up to my room. I felt like I did 20 years ago. I couldn't believe it. I went in there, I was gray looking. Come out of there with color. And I had sold my motorcycle thinking I wasn't gonna get to ride it no more. I got on the telephone and ordered me a new one. <laughs> And uh, the next day I went home and I've been going strong ever since. Uh, I'm six days a week at my shop. Yeah, I got a lot of places to be in and a lot of people to annoy. Yeah. <laughs>